Hello everyone, my name is Siddharth Sangwan and I'm a member of Pentesting Club. In this video, we will configure our Burp Suite to capture Android applications traffic. In the past videos, we have seen it's important to install Burp certificate in our browser or in the system to capture HTTPS traffic. So first of all, let's see why it's important to install Burp certificate. If we go with the normal scenario where user request for Google server for google.com then in response Google server will send its digital certificate and user will verify the certificate and verify the authenticity of the server. On the other hand if we go with the second diagram where user is using some proxy softwares or proxy servers like Burp Suite or Charles Proxy then in that case users will directly request to the proxy server and then proxy server will send that request to the actual Google server. In response, Google server will send its digital certificate to the proxy server and then proxy server will send its own certificate to the user. In this scenario, Google certificate will be verified by the proxy server and the proxy server certificate will be verified by the user. Now let's go ahead and configure our burp suite to capture Android application traffic. So first of all, I'm using my Burp Suite on the left hand side and this is basic proxy configurations here. So I'm going to create one more proxy listener here. So just go with the option tab and click on add proxy listener here. I'm going to use port number as 8080. You can use any port number and I'm going to use my system IP address here. After that, just go with OK and now just go to the Kali Linux and open your Firefox. In the Firefox, just go with the IP address of your local machine with the port number 8080 and hit enter. This will give you the web interface so you can download your CA certificate. If you want to verify the certificate, you can go with OK. You will get the details about the certificate. Now just go with the save to download the certificate here. After downloading, you can verify the certificate on your file explorer. After that, just open your terminal and go with CD downloads to navigate to the particular folder. After that, you can go with ls or you can go with ll here. That is just a ls for ls-al. Now I'm going to use a particular software here as OpenHL, which we generally use to deal with digital certificates. Now here I'll be using x509, which is the public standard used for all digital certificates here. I'll inform OpenHL that I'll be using DER format instead of PAM format. DER and PEM are two different encoding techniques used for X509 certificates. So we have our certificate in DER encoding here. So we have to inform OpenSSL that we will be using the DER. After that, I'm using hyphen IN for the input file and hyphen OUT for the output file and done. After that, just again go with OpenSSL X509. This time we don't have to inform directly go with hyphen IN go with the input file and now I'm using hyphen hyphen subject underscore hash underscore old to calculate MD5 hash value of the particular certificate and hit enter. This will give you certificate which is just at the top of the result. Now this is the value 9A5B and just copy this value and now we just have to create a copy of this certificate with the hash value and dot zero as an extension. I'll explain why I'm using dot zero later in this video. So now just hit enter. Now go to the file explorer and copy the file. Now go back to the windows machine and paste the certificate here. Paste this certificate in the music folder. So just go right click and paste the certificate. After that we have to upload that certificate in our android device. For that all we need is the adb the android debug bridge if you don't have installed adb in your machine not a issue just go with the browser and search for platform tools here go with the first link that you got from the google itself and just go with download for windows here this will give you the zip files before that just go with the checkbox here and go with download option now after downloading the zip file let's extract the file so just open the file right click and go with extract all you can extract it anywhere, it's again your call. After extraction, just go with the platform tool folder and copy the path from the top. Now just search here for environment variables and go to the environment variables at the bottom. On here, you have to go with the path for the system variables and just create a new entry here. Just click on new and paste the path you have copied there. Now go with OK. 
again ok and one last time ok now your adb is properly configured for your android device just go with the terminal and let's resize our windows here so i'll pick the terminal on the left hand side and resize it a little bit more and now i'll take my nox player on the right hand side now i'll go with the music folder where my particular certificate is located so i'll go with cd music and i'll go with ls-al which is not a valid command for the terminal so i'll simply go with ls and we got the certificate here now if you simply enter adb and hit enter you will get a list of all the arguments all the options that are available with the adb now we have to upload this certificate here before that let's establish a connection between the knock player and the terminal for that you can go with adb connect command with the localhost ip address and the port number to check the port number you can go with netstat ona and you can check for a listening port for the ip address 127.0.0.1 with a series of 62000 here so we got the port number here as 62001 just copy the port number and you can enter it here 62001 and hit enter connection is established now just go with adb root to restart your android debug bridge in the root privileges now after that just go with adb shell to check all the certificates here for that just go to the cd system etc security and csrts all the system certificates are located in this particular directory and if you see here we will see a particular format here and the format is all the certificates were renamed as md5 hash and the extension is used as zero so this is the default format for all the system level certificates and we have our certificate in the same format so we can upload it here to upload the file just go with exit and you can go with adb push and then go with the file name that you want to upload here and go with the path where you want to upload so go with system etc security and cs search here and hit enter this will give you error that this particular directory slash system is read only here so you can't make changes in this particular directory to make the directory writable you have to go with adb remount command and then you can upload the particular file now execute the same command and your file is uploaded here now we have two options to update the keychain here first one is you can go with adb reboot command and the second option is you can directly close this nox player window and you can start the nox player again both options will update the keychain and your certificate will be visible in your system settings so just go back to the settings and if you scroll down you will get a security option here so just go with security now scroll down to trusted credentials and if you scroll down to letter p or the ports figure you will see your certificates this is installed as root certificate in the system level privileges right so now all we have to do is just configure the proxy before that let's open our burp suite on the left hand side and now let's configure the proxy for that just go with the wi-fi and now just tap and hold on your wi-fi interface here and now you can enter your ip address and the port number that were used in burp suite for listening now the port number is different here so i'll correct the port number as 8080 and go with ok and now if you open browser or if you open any other application as well then you will see the traffic in your burp history if you want you can like you can capture the traffic in the live intercept tab as well both will do the same thing so this is your burp suite configuration for android application have a good day and have fun